but I do apologize. So I'm not going to worry about that. For those of you who are currently uh, tuned in, thank you so much for taking out the time to listen to your girl success coach, Nikisha, on today. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the music. It does not belong to me. So simply, the word today is to go back. See, a lot of times we um, we go through certain things in life. I, would, I just want you to start to think about some of the things that you uh, once had your heart set on um, at one point that you were so fired up about and that dream that you may have had in your heart that you were so passionate about something that you may have wanted to do and you started to do it and you did not see any type of results coming from that particular thing so with that being said ladies and gentlemen go back the word for today is simply go back if you're here on the motivation page or even on my personal timeline you will see where I just recently made a post below this particular video here that that's simply saying to go back and live your dreams. See, a lot of times we get stuck in the process and we can no longer get stuck inside the process. We can no longer allow ourselves to get caught up in the cycles of life. Um, a lot of times the cycles of life will come uh, to be able to help propel us to a new direction or even elevate us up a little bit higher but we get so caught up in the actual process and we can no longer get caught up in the process so today ladies and gentlemen your success coach came by to say go back simply go back to the place in your mind to where you once dreamed go back in the place of your mind where you was once happy and so full of joy and so full of love and uh being so passionate and so vibrant go back you know, the, the word of God tells us that we shall not get weary in well-doing, but we know as humans and as individual people, we can get weary a lot of times when we don't see anything actually happen or any type of results. So again, go back. Whatever it was that you was once wanting and desiring, go back. Go back and pick that thing up. Go back and cast your nets on the other side, so to speak. Go back back to the place where God has called you. Go back to the vision that he has provided unto you because this time is going to work. This time is your season. This time is your turn. So go back, my friend, go back, go back to the place that where God has called you. That dream that he has placed inside your heart, that very thing that you always thinking about all the time, that very thing that you always wondering, would it work? How do you expect it to work if you don't go back and you don't go back to pick it up? Today, God is saying that your destiny is actually calling you. Some of you may have been having um, dreams and uh, feeling a pull and a tug in your heart to actually go back to the very place where you drop your dreams. You have to just continue to allow God to cultivate, cultivate those particular um, things that you have there in your heart. If he put it inside your heart and he has given you the dream um, and the passion to do it, and he has given you the very thought, just know that as long as you're doing the work that you should be actually doing, nourishing that very thing, that it will uh, begin to come to pass. It will begin to manifest. But my friend, you have to have some type of patience. You have to remember the word tells us that this race is not given to the swift, but it's given to the very one that will actually endure until the very end. So my friend, go back. Go back and pick up the things that you thought maybe that you lost. Go back and pick up your dreams. Go back and pick up your hope. Go back and pick up your peace. Go back and pick up the very things that you left behind. Go back because this time is going to actually work. There, Listen, there's a change of story. There's a change in the shifting of keys. We have to remember that old keys cannot open up new doors. But if God has placed that vision inside your heart, and he has provided you with that dream inside your heart. My friend, simply go back, go back and pick it up. Go back and cast your nets back on the other side. Just like Jesus told the disciples when they was out there tolling all night long inside that boat. And they didn't caught, did not catch any type of fish. And they got weary. They got discouraged. They was tired. So today, I'm telling you, just like Jesus told his disciples, cast your net on the other side. It's all about you going back and being obedient. 
Follow the very instructions that God is providing to you. Pay close attention because this time when he launched you, he's going to launch you into a place that you have never dreamed of, a place that you have never saw, a place that you have never thought that you could ever uh, be in. So my friend, today, Success Coach Nikisha stopping by today on this beautiful Thursday, telling you to simply go back, go back and pick up your dreams, go back and pick up your hope, go back and pick up your ambition. It doesn't matter who's not supporting you. You have to remember if the word tells us that my God shall supply all my needs, he will supply you the support. Stop looking for the people around you to support you. You have to remember that some of your biggest haters and some of the ones that will not support you are those that's inside your inner circle. You have to remember also that Jesus wasn't able to do his greatest miracle in his town. Why? Because the Bible tells us that a prophet is not honored in their own town. And it's the same way with you and me, my friend. We cannot depend on those that we think that will um, actually help us and to help push us or support us. We have, you have to remember that you have to remember that God will always help you. He will always carry you. He will always supply exactly what you need he will not give you the vision if he has not already made provision so my friend go back pick up your bed and walk pick up your cross bear whatever it is that you have to bear in order for you to create your legacy bear and go through whatever you have to go through in order for you to get to the place where you desire to be because the very thing that you hope and want and also desire it also um it's also beckoning at you for you to come near because it also wants you. With that being said, everyone, this has been nobody but your girl, Success Coach Nikisha, bringing you the word for today. Simply go back. There's still hope. And your net is about to bust wide open. Have a blessed and amazing day, you guys. Bye-bye.